guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel, Gabby's Queendom. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to the channel down below. Also tap the notification bell so you'll get alerted each and every time I upload a new video. All right, so it's been a minute since I've been here on YouTube, but I'm definitely back to present content to you guys. So I have been sick and honestly feeling really really bad but i'm definitely obviously feeling a lot better and in good enough condition to where i can come here on camera and you know present a little video for you guys in my new setup which is under construction but definitely coming together it's definitely a whole little vibe in here i absolutely love my lighting so you know if you have any questions about that definitely leave it in the comment section below but today's video is going to be a puff tutorial and i'm just honestly trying to stretch my hair until i actually wash it in about two days and i definitely have always been able to do that with a puff in the past so that is what i'm going to be doing today so if you guys are interested definitely keep on watching so i haven't attempted a high puff since my mini big chop back in september of 2019 now like i mentioned i'm going to be washing my hair in two days so this style should definitely last me until then now I'm going to start off by spritzing my hair with my spray bottle. It's filled with warm water and this is going to moisturize and loosen up my curls for manipulation. Now I only want to spritz my hairline because I don't want to cause shrinkage throughout other parts of my hair. And then after that I'm simply going to massage the water in, spread it around both the front and back of my head. Next up, I'm going to be taking my organic coconut oil and I'm going to be applying this right on top of the water. Now, if you don't know by now, this oil is a staple in my regimen and I'm just going to plug it into this routine because it's really going to help to combat any flakage with the gel that I'm going to use. It's also going to add some softness to my hair throughout the duration of the style. So yeah, I'm just going to massage this coconut oil in all around my perimeter of my head. Okay, so for my gel, I'm going to be using the Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel. Now, this is a product that I've used pretty often in my high puff routine. It does not leave my hair feeling dry or leave it feeling hard at all. It is a soft hold gel that leaves my hair feeling really, really soft, shiny, and with a really nice, smooth finish. All right, so my hair is soft to the touch. Now, if I wanted to transition back into an Afro puff the next day, I could definitely do so with this particular gel obviously i'm not going to do that because i'm going to be washing my hair in two days but just know you could all right but anyways um basically i'm just going to apply this gel and when i apply it it does leave a white cast as you can see and you will see throughout this video but i promise you that it's going to go away once i wrap everything up and allow it to dry all right, so I'm gonna follow that up with my edge control, the edge booster. Now, I don't always lay my edges when I do a high puff, but when I do, this is definitely one of my go-tos. Now, to be honest, using this product alone can cause a lot of flaking, but when it's combined with the Eco Styler Gel and the coconut oil, I really feel it helps to minimize any flakiness, and this stuff leaves your edges laid. All right, so I would definitely recommend it to anyone who has coarse, kinky natural hair, really look to lay their edges all right next I'm going in with my edge brush and I'm gonna actually use the comb side to really smooth and shape my edges now I like to keep this part as simple as possible so my technique is very simple and straightforward I'm just going to you know lay my edges add a little bit of shape and try not to do too much all right so just keep it simple All right, so now I'm going back in with the Eco Styler Gel and I'm going to apply a generous amount of this product because I'm going to be washing my hair in two days anyways, so I don't need to go lightweight with the product. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, it does leave a white cast as you can see here and a lot of it might be caused by the lighting in my room as well, but it's definitely going to leave a white cast, but that's definitely going to disappear. Why am I saying definitely so much? It's going to disappear, you know, once everything dries.
All right, and don't forget the back of your head as well. As you can see, I'm smoothing it all through the back area as well. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking my two-sided brush and I'm going to be using the soft side to really smooth the product through. All right, so I don't use the hard side of the brush. Just make sure you're using the smooth side um, and then you'll be good to go. All right, so I don't know where all of my elastic bands disappear to, but this is the only one I could find. And honestly, I'm not even going to lie. I definitely struggle getting this into a high puff. And you're going to see that. So first off, <laughs> my grip was way too far apart. And the elastic band itself just was not slipping through my hair as effortlessly, as effortlessly as other elastic bands have slipped through my hair in the past. So look, the struggle was definitely real. And I did contemplate on redoing this entire scene. But I really wanted to keep it in to keep everything genuine and just to really keep it 100 with y'all. All right. So with some patience, I was able to pull through and to set my hair to the desired position for my hot puff. So I was super happy at the end of that entire process. <laughs> All right. So I'm just tying it up in the back and making sure I relax my arms because that is definitely a arm workout. All right, so after all of that, I'm going to use my hands to really fluff and separate my um, high puff and just into my desired shape. Um, I'm also going to use my red pick to help create more volume and to make my puff a little bigger. Well, a lot bigger. We want to see volume. We want to see as many. Um, we want it to get as big as possible, basically. All right. So, yeah, just fluff fluff as much as you can <laughs> all right now I also wanted some ringlets and some finger coils whatever you want to call it I wanted to add some extra texture to my puff so I just basically took some eco style gel and even in some sections I didn't even use the gel I just twirled my hair in my fingers and this is just going to create some more texture some more volume and like I said the eco style gel leaves that white cast but it's going to disappear All right, and then finally, I'm going to wrap everything up with these wrap it up strips that I purchased off of Amazon. Now, I'm going to be using one for the front, and I'm also going to be using one in the back. All right, so I'm just going to apply this around the front of my edges, and I'm going to tie it up in the back. All right, and then I'm also going to go ahead and grab another wrap it up strip and I'm also going to apply that to the back portion of my head. All right, now for some extra security, I am going to triple up on it to make sure my edges are laid and they stay in place. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my cloth wrap just to top everything off. All right, so here is the finished result after letting everything dry and set. My hair feels soft to touch and my edges are laid from ear to ear and my puff is full of texture. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already subscribed, definitely do so. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.